Nuclear power is seen as a viable option that can be added to country's energy mix to meet demand in the residential, industrial and transport sector and drive industrialization efforts. Ghana's emerging nuclear power program is the culmination of nearly 60 years of socio-economic and political development under successive government. That is why Ghana's decision to include nuclear power in the nation's energy mix has led the country to establish Nuclear Power Ghana Limited as an owner, operator and a project developer. To delve more into the operations of the nuclear energy, a three-day media workshop has been held to sharpen the writing and communication skills of journalists on nuclear energy and its related issues. The executive director of Nuclear Power Ghana, Dr. Stephen Yamwa, recommended adequate stakeholders' engagement to ensure public sensitization on nuclear safety and environmental health. The seasoned writings by some of you, our uh, participants, after the previous workshops, are uh, worth commending. We, re we recognize your efforts to maintain a high bar of professionalism and urge you all to remain reference points of professional journalism. To our new entrants, for those taking part for the first time, we urge you to take this knowledge sharing opportunity very seriously and let us take the commanding heights to assist the public whose perception of nuclear risks has been greatly influenced by the historical memory of past incidents. Unfortunately, whether it is related to nuclear or not, it finds its way to relate to nuclear. Speaking on behalf of the Energy Minister, Dr. Robert Sogbaji said it is about time to invest in nuclear power energy as it is relatively cheaper and efficient as compared to other forms of energy. The minister was invited here to speak on the government of Ghana's commitment and readiness to deploy nuclear power plants and the way forward. And we have to say since 2008, Ghana has taken careful steps in the quest to include nuclear power in the energy mix. And the following are some of the significant strides that Ghana, the government has taken. In 2012, the Ghana Nuclear Power Program was established to bring out the terms and reference and the roadmap to a successful takeoff of our nuclear program. With the coordinating office at the Ministry of Energy, MOUs and agreement on cooperation on peaceful use of nuclear energy has also taken place with developed countries who are nuclear vendors. And through this agreement, we have been able to trace some human resources to make them ready for our nuclear power program and also during the construction of our nuclear power plant. Also, the Nuclear Regulatory Authority was established in 2016 to regulate and license activities during our quest to introduce nuclear into the generation mix. And all the conditions, all the conventions that were ratified, that were presented by the work from the Nuclear Regulatory Authority are all part of government efforts to show our commitment to the nuclear power program.